Now I'm going to be uh, teaching you how to create wheel assembly. So semi-finished product we are going to um, uh, create. So as you know, to make a finer product, finer bike, many parts go in there. And some of them could be semi-finished products, some of them could be just raw materials. And uh, uh, in this session, I'm going to teach you how to create semi-finished product. So um, to do that, you have to double click on semi-finished product or you can type here MMB1, MMB1. And uh, that will take you to the semi-finished product. Although it looks the same, uh, remember that this is a semi-finished product. As you can see, semi-finished product right here. So be careful that you are not creating finished product using the same function from the previous session. And here uh, we are going to use uh, TRWA2000, TRWA2000 and uh, dash 222 is my number. Again, you got to use your own identification number and uh, click on uh, select view and you're going to create basic data and MRP123 and work schedule. Right, these five facets you want to create and click on check mark and that will take you to uh, this page where you enter DL00. That's what it is and click on this check mark. Okay. Then now we have here we got to enter the description of this data that's a tour aluminum wheel assembly and this is commuter bike 222 that's my number so tour aluminum wheel assembly commuter 222 so in your case you have to put your own identification number there and it's a each as we learned and mature group before it was bike but now we are going to put wheel because uh, this is a different division creating a semi-finished product and then the division uh, overall it, it is bike group so BI is the next thing and the gross weight of this uh, aluminum wheel is 3185 and again that weight is the same 3185 and weight unit is G and so you are done with the basic data move to MRP1 and then here we will uh, enter MRP type it should be uh, now different one uh, so let's click on here and uh, the MRP is PD MRP here in this case so it's a little bit different from the finished product so and, and uh, the MRP controller, there's only one person, so choose this person. And last size is EX, right, that we used before. That's a lot for lot, EX, right. And uh, go to minimum last size, we want to put 15 there. And then um, I think we are done with MRP1, go to MRP2, MRP2 here uh, many things are the same and go to in-house production and it's going to be one day production and margin is 001 and safety stock is uh, 30 so not as many safety stock we need here in this case 
and go to MRP uh, 3 in MRP3 you can say the stretch group is uh, make to stock method and there is 10 before so you can either type 10 or go to here and then specify that but 10 is fine and availability check uh, is 0 2 so 0 2 is individual requirements and if you have done that, now you can move on to work scheduling and work scheduling here um, EA and product supervisor is 000, zero actually and uh, because there's only one person and uh, product schedule profile is 10 but let's look at what it is, release and schedule and if you have done that, now you are ready to save. So hit save, then you are, uh, you have just created, uh, you know, sub assembly or semi finished product right here. So 